For numeracy, children can be asked to maintain a household account according to their level. A household account means that there is some purchases being done in the house daily. Maybe the children who are at a secondary level could be asked to go and shop and then make a list of the things and then put down the prices and add those prices and find out how much balance has to be there due for them to take back from the shopkeeper. So such an activity would help the, the students to learn how to purchase, how to deal with the money, how to add and how to subtract. Of course, such an activity cannot be done with the younger children who are in the primary section, but still the parents can always deal with smaller money amounts and ask their children that this is the money they are going to pay for the child's fee. For example, the parents can show the notes to the children who are younger that this is a 5 rupee note, this is a 10 rupee note, this is a 20 rupee note and these notes are going to be paid to their school as their school fee. So that the children from the very beginning have an idea what does money look like and how do they add and subtract money in order to pay their dues. Geography lessons can be made easy by talking about the city, the country, landscape, climate, etc. Unfortunately, in the Pakistani culture and context, geography is highly neglected. Our children do not have an understanding of geography at all. They do not even know the landscape of Pakistan. They do not even know the different climates that Pakistan has. And they are also unaware of the climate and what type of a city it is until and unless they would visit that place. But even while visiting, people are not considering the structure of the city or what type of a climate is there or what type of a requirement of clothes is there because of that climate and what should be the lifestyle in that city this thing and this knowledge is totally ignored in the syllabus as well as in practical life and the students do not learn anything regarding that however all this can be learned at home with the family and there are so many resources when the children are visiting places with their parents that they can learn about climate, about cities, about structures, about how the towns are being planned. All these things must be talked with the children by the parents. And if the parents do not have the information, they can always find out and talk about it so that the topic is bringing some sort of knowledge and some sort of learning to the children. Another example is civics. How can you teach civics as a parent? Civics can be taught by creating tasks related to cleanliness, giving rights to others, respecting elders, showing kindness to the weak. So cleanliness, the parents must talk about cleanliness and also should be the role model themselves. Unfortunately, it has been noticed many a times on the road that even the adults and the parents they would just throw rubbish out of the car and all that rubbish would go on the uh, road and the ground nearby. So how will the children learn if the parents are throwing that rubbish? So the civics class could be held by the parents, number one, by being a role model and number two, by guiding the children that all the rubbish should be kept in one bag and thrown in a dustbin whenever there is a dustbin available. Similarly, giving rights to others. If the drivers of the cars are not giving the rights to others to drive on the road, how will they be teaching their children that one should be respecting the rights of others? Not only that, when people are parking their cars, they should think that what about the other people who are going to park here? So if the parents will teach the children that they have to park at the right place in order to respect the right of the other person 
who has to park the car, then only the children will learn that. And that can be a civics lesson as well.